The PAX conventions have become one of the best places to see and play new indie games, many of which are demoed by the developers, writers and artists themselves. While we weren't able to attend the PAX East event that finished last weekend as this video airs, here are the top 20 games at the show we're most looking forward to playing once they hit the market. First up at number 20 and counting down in no real particular order, Disc Room is expected out this year on PC and is published by the ever-reliable Devolver Digital. Part bullet hell, part death trap, it's from the same people who made Minute and has you trying to survive in rooms full of deadly buzzsaws. These rooms seem to be locked shut with the doors opening after you've successfully completed certain puzzles and challenges. Survival rogue like and resource management game Red Lantern looks to feature narrative elements centered not only on the woman who drives a sled and a team of five dogs, all lost in the Alaskan wilderness, but also each of the five dogs have their own story. You're able to follow them when you have them act as lead of the dog team. The overall narrative develops and can change as do the events that unfold, depending upon the order in which you let the dogs lead you and their fellow canine pals. Up next, the Artful Escape looks likely to feature a spiritual journey through the subconscious of Francois Vendetti that's said to be inwardly introspective and yet outwardly extravagant. Either way, this thrilling looking game is being teased as coming out this year on PC, the Xbox One and iOS via the App Store. The Spirit Fairer has been on our list of games we most want to play for a good while and it should be out later this year on PC and all of this generation's consoles. This quite frankly gorgeous looking resource management offering sees you help spirits move on into the afterlife. These spirits are also able to join you on your boat just as long as you have the right materials and processes available to help build somewhere for them to stay. To our eye, this is one of the best looking games in the entire rundown. Going Under is a fun looking action pack roguelike where you crawl the dungeons of failed startup companies in Silicon Valley that have now become full of monsters and other such nasties. All of the levels appear to combine typical dungeon like archetypes, all mixed with items and environments you might find in any tech startup office. The action looks fairly challenging and chaotic, with it coming to Steam hopefully at some point later in the year. Coming up now, the big con is set back in the 1990s and we'll see players take on the role of a con artist and all round thief as you look to make enough money to help save your family's own video store. Thieving video mechanics are usually based on points and skill levels, think Skyrim for example, so it's all going to be interesting to see how the big con implements the overall premise with it coming to PCs at a date that's still to be determined. With Maquette, this is coming billed as a part love story, part puzzle game and tells a tale of a broken relationship. Coming from Annapurna Interactive of what remains of Edith Finch and the Outer Wilds fame, each of the game's puzzles build upon each other, with them becoming tools to be used in other puzzles once being solved. Having spoken with people who played the game at the show, Maquette seems reasonably challenging and fairly difficult and will be coming to PC with a release date and other platform announcements possibly later in 2020. With the obvious comparisons to things such as Blade Runner, Cloudpunk will see you play as a driver on their first day, working for the delivery service also called Cloudpunk. It seems a fairly open-ended sort of a game, you can cruise around the city doing very little, or you can get to work following your delivery schedules or dropping things off for others who might pay you just that little bit more. In any case, your actions will change how the story pans out and your relationship with others. Cloudpunk looks likely to come out this year for PC and all of the usual consoles. Up next, Young Souls is part beat em up and part RPG with you playing as teen twins Jen and Tristan. You're tasked with fighting off a demonic army that threatens the earth and by day you're just normal teenagers going to school although at night you make your way through a portal and undertake the good fight. Using a mix of 3D environments and 2D characters this looks pretty impressive. At the moment though there's no word on platform availability or the launch date. Expected out no earlier than 2021 according to its Steam homepage, Forgone is a 2D action platformer that looks to combine the combat focused gameplay of Diablo and Dark Souls 
with some of the most fluid looking pixel art we've seen this side of Dead Cells. Halfway through our PAX East 2020 rundown, expected out towards the very end of the year, Pumpkin Jack is a spooky looking 3D platformer that sees you play as the mythical Pumpkin Lord himself. This looks colourful and a spirited affair that uses combo attacks, dodging and timing to avoid and survive dynamic real time battles. If you like how this all looks, there's a demo to play today and like all of the games in this list, you can find a link down to it in the video's description. Coming up now is Mon Cage, a puzzler which has a locked off perspective with a single point of focus of a cube. As you play, the cube's surface becomes something akin to a diorama series where you're able to zoom in and out of the images. By moving the objects within the image, you're able to solve puzzles. And by the looks of things, these range from the straightforward to the reasonably rather abstract. Mon Cage is heading for the PC this year at a date that's yet to be determined. Up right now is Welcome to Elk, a game that's being called a biographical adventure that sees you play as Frigg, somebody who's recently moved from the big city to a small town of Elk. We played the demo a few months ago and were particularly taken with how it presents and takes you through the stories that are all based on true events and if anything, it really surprised us with how dark some of it can be underneath the felt tip pen like comic visuals. Welcome to Elk will most likely be coming out this year via Steam. 30XX is the successor to 20XX with it this time looking more something say from the PS1 era of pixel art games. It also seems to be and play out like an out and out tribute to Mega Man although it adds and borrows from other older generations such as Contra and Super Metroid and will likely feature both a single player and co-op gameplay. Apparently all of this is very early footage and there's no word yet on when it might make it out to market. Up next we have a space for the Unbound, which features a snapshot pixel art adventure of two high school friends living in rural 90s Indonesia all with a supernatural twist. Like a few others in this countdown, you can play a demo of this side scroller by way of its Steam page and it offers a good 20 to 30 minutes of playtime in what seems to be a quality and endearing story driven experience that's coming out soon to PC. Game Deck is an isometric adaptive RPG where you take control of the titular private detective in charge of investigating real world problems within virtual worlds. It reminds us in style of the recent Disco Elysium with you able to alter your character's attitude and personality by way of the game's branching storylines and dialogue. By gathering clues from things you find and people you speak with, you go about solving the cases you're assigned. Game Deck will be out this year on PC via Steam. Recompile continues to look astounding and is an action adventure where you play as a sentient AI that's looking to avoid deletion and death from its creator. Apparently beginning as a relatively simple platformer, deep down this is really a metroidvania with your abilities getting more and more useful as it were the deeper you get into it. We're told the footage here is from an earlier build and we understand from people who played the game at PAX East Just Gone it's looking even better than this on screen now, rumours suggesting it's also built upon a new engine. Whatever the case it's set to come out later this year for home PCs. Up next and with only three more to go in this PAX East 2020 rundown, the Falconeer has featured a few times on Get Indie Gaming and each time we see it, it looks better and better. A fresh take on air to air combat, this third person affair has you play as an airborne warrior and while it looks to stay true to classical dog fighting mechanics, it's said to add a few tweaks here and there with its acrobatics and enemies to take on. Not only will you fight against other Falconeers, the world is also full of lumbering airships and other creatures such as dragon like weavers in what appears to be a bleak and yet hauntingly beautiful world. The Falconeer will be coming to home PC at first and onto the Xbox One, presumably at some point later in the year. She Dreams of Elsewhere will be compared in how it looks to say Minute and Undertale, although from what we can make out from the footage we've seen so far, it uses further influences from the supernatural narratives of the Persona series, although the developer has also spoken of being influenced by Life is Strange and their own personal experiences and dreams from over the years. It certainly does look somewhat dreamlike in its overall look and feel, and if you want to see more, 
there's a free demo which as the time this video comes out can be found on the Steam homepage. There's a link down in the description below. The last game to feature in this PAX East 2020 countdown was due out in time for the Apple Arcade launch from last year, although it slipped just prior to that coming out. The Pathless sees you play as a woman looking to bring light back to where she lives after her home has become infected by darkness. The Pathless comes from the creators of Abzu and will see you solve puzzles in ancient ruins, hunt corrupted spirits, explore forested islands full of secrets, all while forging a bond and connection with an eagle companion. The Pathless kind of reminds us of Zelda Breath of the Wild, with additional movement flourishes and comes to the Epic Game Store, PlayStation 4 and Apple Arcade. That just about wraps up our PAX East coverage for 2020, so now it's over to you. Which of the games we covered or you saw at the show are you most excited about? Let us know down in the comments. While you're here, if you could like the video as a favour to us, that would be incredible. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Either way, many thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you all here again soon for more indie game videos.